The new program focuses on taking preventative measures to help keep older adults out of long-term care facilities, efficiently providing them supports they need to stay in their own home and attending to health issues before they become an emergency. Councillor Paul Sharman explains how it will help streamline care. If we could arrange their administration differently uh, so that uh, it didn't depend on people fishing around saying what am I going to do, going on Google, finding out you know, what they should do when they have hypertension and, and up pops the first name and they dial it and then they know then they're being charged you know, a lot of money for doing something. They could actually get it from OHIP. Um, that actually what you do is you enroll in a program called uh, Program of All-Inclusive Care for Elders and, and you get assigned to a consultant who works with you uh, to hook you up and make all the arrangements for you to get all the services you need and then to work with you and what we call an interdisciplinary team. So all of the parties who are involved with providing those services, including healthcare, primary care, are all attuned to your file and your needs and it is all taken care of. Um, the, 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 the individual can go to a pace center if they live at home or if it happens to be in your building, such as the pilot project we're having going at 410 John on the ground floor, then you just go down the elevator. The project is modeled after a successful existing program in Michigan. It has several low-income houses and condos all served by a central PACE program. Sharman and former Mayor Rick Goldring visited in 2017. Inspired by what they saw, upon returning they gathered leaders from Joseph Brandt Hospital, the Lynn and Halton Community Housing, among others. We, we went through, we examined every aspect of, of how this could function because it was such a different model than anything in Ontario. Um, and that after, after discussing it endlessly, we realized that we needed a, a path of least resistance. We needed a way, um, an easy way to get a building with seniors in it because we because otherwise we'd want to build it. But how do you do that when there's no money and there's no business model and, there's, and the, ra the business rationale for doing it is, is hard to articulate in this environment? And, and so, so Andrew, who's the director of uh, Holden Community Housing, said, well, why don't we do it in, in one of our properties? And why don't we do it at 410 John, which was just across the road? And, uh, and, and, and uh, Kathy Peters, uh, then the, sub, uh, the director of the sublet in Burlington, said, well, we already have all the services and we'll put together a team of all the service providers and we'll create a map of how we provide every single service and how we organize it and administer it differently so we can do it in this one location. So it, it was a year-long process to do all that and make it work. The pilot at 410 John Street launched at the beginning of 2020, enrolling 40 initial participants. Unfortunately, a month later the pandemic hit, causing progress to halt. Last fall, as restrictions were lighter, they were able to begin the renovations of the main floor. The, uh, the, the refurbishment is intended to uh, provide access uh, for services uh, and, and the people who live in the uh, facility uh, to make it easier and to, to make sure that the uh, service providers, so doctors and uh, healthcare providers and other providers of services, you know, if you want to have your toenails clipped, that, that it's a suitable environment. And on top of that, we want to be able people to gather um, and, and, and have meetings and talk about what's going on and, and, and so that they get social engagement, uh, improves the cafeteria area and the eating area. Um, so there are places around the ground floor on 410 John uh, where service providers can meet uh, residents rather than having to go out to their units. Um, and, and we're improving the uh, eating area, the meeting areas, um, and the entire layout of the ground floor so that there's a way better way uh, uh, service-oriented uh, facility. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.